The increasing availability of Earth observation data presents challenges for data download, storage, access, and processing on individual computers and local computing clusters. Alone, the EU's Copernicus program currently has a data volume of 50 petabytes and contains over 80 million products. The variety of new data sets in terms of properties and formatting further adds to the complexity. Cloud infrastructures and platforms have emerged as viable alternatives to the traditional approach of downloading data to local environments. Cloud-based infrastructure providers offer computing resources, storage capacity, and the networking capabilities required to handle large-scale data processing and analysis. Such providers often build and maintain data centers to ensure reliable and scalable infrastructures for applications and Earth observation. Cloud infrastructures allow users to work with computing resources close to the EO data. However, there are no services for EO data in place. The environment for data discovery, access, visualization, and analysis has to be set up by the user. Amazon Web Services and Cloud Faro are two examples. Platform providers combine infrastructures, tools, and services to make them cohesive. These platforms provide application programming interfaces, APIs, and simplify the EO data lifecycle, enabling users to discover, access, process, and analyze data without managing the underlying infrastructure. Platforms may also offer features to enable algorithm sharing, open science, result dissemination, or operationalization. Two out of many examples are Google Earth Engine and the Copernicus database ecosystem. In this course, we will carry out a full EO workflow on a cloud platform using hosted JupyterLab coding environments, accessing vast amounts of satellite data, and processing with the OpenEO API. Approaching your research through cloud platforms adds flexibility, transparency, and interoperability to your solutions.